Alright YouTubers, this is the Disposalist, and in this video I'm letting users of the Go XLR Mini know about a hidden sampler output channel. I'll try and explain as briefly as I can. The original Go XLR has a sampling capability. The Go XLR Mini does not. The Windows app for the Mini, though clearly based on the original Go XLR version, is different than for the original, as you'd expect. So I was curious when I saw a samples column on the audio channel routing table in the app for my Mini. Not only that, but looking at the Windows control panel, you can see that installed with the Go XLR Mini, along with the expected other channels, are a pair of playback and recording devices, both called Sample. And if you set up an audio player to output to the Windows playback device called Sample, then you can route it to the Go XLR Mini app. Now, I've read the manuals and watched several tutorial videos, so I'm not sure where I saw it, but this is all explained away somewhere as a kind of leftover from the system that supports the sampling function of the original Go XLR, and we're told it can just be ignored. Well, I had a bit of a fiddle with the devices and Audacity and OBS and what have you, and assigning audio software to the samples channel, which you can then route to your mini's outputs. It's uh, kind of handy, but the sample recording device didn't seem to function, so I thought it was probably best ignored, as I'd heard. But then I bought an Elgato Stream Deck, which is an excellent device in its own right, but also recently had an add-in for the Go XLR developed. It's quite basic currently, just allowing you to switch profiles and alter the routing table, though those functions are handy things to do without having to open up and use the app. On trying out the functions that alter the routing table, I noticed it can control what is sent from the samples channel, fine, and what is routed to the sampler channel. Aha! No doubt this is because it works for the original Go XLR as well as the Mini, I thought. But I like to tinker, so I set up a Stream Deck page to control the routing table of my Mini, including the sampler output, and guess what? It works. Obviously, you can't see the routing table, which makes it tricky to operate, but it is apparently hiding away there inside the Mini. To demonstrate, I set up a button that switches all the routing options for the sampler output channel to off, just so we know where we're starting, since you can't see what they're currently set to in the app. Then I added buttons that toggle the route to the sampler output channel. And sure enough, if you have any, say, media players sending music to the music input channel and you route it to the sampler output, voila, the music is routed to the Windows recording device called Sample. As I mentioned earlier, confusingly, the Windows devices are both named Sample for recording and for playback. I've renamed them in my Windows settings to match what's in the Go XLR app. So what does all this mean? Who cares if we have a hidden output channel we can use? With the original Go XLR, no doubt whatever you routed to the sampler recording device is what you sampled when you used the sampling buttons. You can have your mic, your Discord chat and your game sound all going to your broadcast stream mix, but just have the game and your mic routed to your sampler so you can make nice clean samples of you and your reactions to the game without your chat buddies talking all over it. Well, now you can do something similar with the Mini, maybe recording the sampler device with Audacity. More options is good, yeah? Anyway, I thought it was an interesting find worth reporting, with the added bonus of getting a good practice run with my new audio equipment. I hope you found this video useful, please do give me a thumbs up if you did, a thumbs down if you must, and why not leave a comment? I'd especially love your comments about the quality of the audio, because it's hard for me to tell and this is new equipment I'm trying out, um, and hopefully we'll have some more videos for you shortly in the future. Cheers YouTubers, I'll see you next time.